it's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective and find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences, find new roads. Chevrolet. Back to High School Game Day here on the Missouri Sports Network. Guy Newcomb alongside, as always, presented by the Lakers Local 663, who are my to go home to their families as well. So, Chevy, there's of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week segment. We go to Lebanon High School and welcome in, welcome in the new all-time career uh, rushing leader in Lebanon High School history, Jax Glendening. Jax, thanks for your time today. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited to be here. First off, did you know that you were approaching the record uh, going into that game with Nixon? I knew that I was 104 yards away going into that game, yeah. Tell us about uh, the record-breaking run. Honestly, I was kind of – I was shocked that I hadn't already broken the record. Um, I thought that maybe I probably had because I had rushed, I think. It was already like 20 times that game. So I kind of figured that I had it anyways, but uh, – Honestly, it was just fantastic blocking, and it led to a 65-yard touchdown run, and there is no better way to cap off that record. So, Do you remember going back at you know, in your youth, do you remember the first yard you gained? The first start I gained uh, for varsity, you mean? Yes, yes, sir. I do remember the first start I had. I played every game um, as a freshman, but the first start time I actually started was against Kickapoo, and I remember it very vividly, yeah. Uh, tell us about that day. What do you remember about it? Uh, I don't. So that week leading up to it, I hadn't been told that I was starting at all. It happened that night. Uh, one of my coaches, Coach Allen, he's the defensive coordinator. He came up to me and he just told me that I was starting a uh, middle linebacker as a 155 pound freshman. And um, it was actually a really good game. I think I had like three sacks on Kickapoo and uh, my career just kind of rolled on from there. So. Going back into uh, your youth, have you always been a running back or have you kind of changed positions? Uh, growing up in like Mighty Mike football, I switched positions everywhere. I was safety, I was linebacker, outside linebacker. I played line a couple of times just for the fun of it. Um, I was quarterback. I kind of, I've been thrown all over the place. So it's been fun for sure. And a long, a long history of running backs coming out of Lebanon uh, since Will Christian has arrived there. And, you know, John Barry going back to Brock West as mm -hmm. well. Have you had the opportunity to maybe visit with those guys that you kind of passed along the way? Growing up, I was able to talk to them a little bit. Uh, honestly, those guys were idols to me growing up. You know how that goes. Always the little kid on the sideline getting to watch those guys. Uh, so I haven't been able to speak to them um, since I've broken uh, those records, but I've known them my whole life kind of growing up. Yeah. Jax, you're a senior. If, if you could go back to that Jax Glendening who was at an eighth grade age, and if you could get in a time machine and go back and give yourself some advice based mm -hmm. on what you know now as a senior, what advice would you give yourself? I would, I mean, it sounds cliche, but I would just say to believe in yourself. Um, I said in the newspaper, uh, the Laclee County record, I was like, I didn't believe that I was going to beat that record until after sophomore year when I'd already racked up, I think it was 1,600 career rushing yards. And I was like, well, there's no reason I can't do this now. So I would say just to believe in myself and um, you've always got people watching you. So even on and off the field, uh, it's important to be a good role model. Yeah. Who, uh, who was the first one that you heard from after the game? Uh, outside of your coaching staff, your your teammates, uh, maybe was it a, a mom or dad that you know? That, who did you get that first congratulations from? Maybe in a text or a email or whatever. Yeah, it's always it's always been my family. It's everyone in my family um, coming down onto the field after every single game. My entire family is there for my grandparents to my littlest sibling, um, and then to my uncle John, who is at every single sports event I've ever had. So just always my family. And then obviously the Lebanon community is very supportive. So I've always had people texting me um, and congratulating me. It helps a lot knowing that you have so many people on your side. So outside of your family, who's kind of been that mentor for you? I mean, it, it may be a coach, it may be a mm -hmm. teammate, uh, it may have been someone who was a senior when you were a freshman. Yeah. 
You know, I honestly, I've had so many in my life. You know, it goes all the way back. You know, my first ever football coach was actually my mom. So it all, it goes all the way back to that. But then you go into middle school um, and my coach Starnes and coach Rhodes at Julie Barber. uh, That's where I played in middle school. So I go back to those times. They were great mentors. And then obviously I go to where I am now and every single coach on the staff has mentored me. Um, And then as well, I would like to say uh, Dre Dokes. He played for Kickapoo back in the day. He was a stud and he's been uh, one of my running back coaches as well. So he's been a great mentor. Now, being a senior, and you've made your decision as far as what you're going to do next year. Tell us a little bit about the decision you've made. Yeah, so I'm committed to Harding University. Uh, They're the D2 national champions. They're on a 23-game win streak right now. So I was super excited to get that offer from them, and that process kind of started as a freshman. I went down there for a camp my freshman year, and I met with some of the coaches there, and they basically told me that they were going to recruit me but they can't do it yet, obviously, because I'm a freshman. So um, the recruiting process was super slow. I had to wait till I was a junior. It would have been last year. And then they finally were able to reach back out to me, and we worked out a deal. And now that's where I'm heading. Very good. And uh, you're very familiar with Blake De La Cruz from Parkview, yeah. mm-hmm. who, uh, who is their current running back mm-hmm. and, on their, and was on their national championship team a year ago. Have you got to visit with him about making that decision? Uh, actually, when I went up on my visit where they offered me, I got to meet him and talk to him. Um, that is kind of a really cool history there because my brother actually played against him back when he played at Parkview. Uh, I remember being very frustrated watching those games because he uh, he would run all over everybody, so nobody could ever tackle him. So it was really cool getting to meet that guy. Um, super nice man. Definitely another mentor. Yeah. And again, we're visiting with the uh, all-time leading career rusher in Lebanon High School history, Jax Glendening, here on our Chevrolet of the Ozarks uh, Athletes of the Week, presented by the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Jax, tell a little, talk a little bit about how you kind of get prepared mentally and physically for a game. You've got a game tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you doing throughout the day to, and the week, really, to kind of get prepared mentally and physically? Uh, Well, it goes down to little things, I think, you know, as far as just hydrating, make sure that you're doing the right things. I try and stay away from all processed foods and stuff like that. Try and stay healthy. But as far as like mentally, I would say that I just kind of lock in, you know, I put in my AirPods throughout the school day and don't really, you know, have much outside connection, kind of just in my own headspace. And, uh, you know, the more games I play, the less um, nervous I get to play in them. So I actually just get to go throughout my day like it's any other day. So, well, outstanding. If you, if, you know, it's it's remarkable at a running back position to be able to stay relatively healthy for four years, and that's uh, that's something. And with your diet and your exercise and things like that, and then maybe a little somebody upstairs watching out for you as well. Exactly. Exactly. But uh, well, again, Jax, uh, on behalf of Chevrolet and the Missouri State Highway Patrol, congratulations for being part of, of uh, the Chevrolet Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. And I have one more question. I'm a mandated reporter. Okay. Missouri State Highway Patrol, do you always wear your seatbelt? I wear my seatbelt every single day. Very good. And you know that the Be Safe, Be Smart, Be Here Tomorrow campaign, you know where it started. I actually don't. It was in the Lebanon High School football parking lot. Really? I, Brock West and mm-hmm. Hank Brackett okay. got, got into my vehicle. I was taking them to lunch, and this is eight, ten years ago, maybe longer than that. Mm-hmm. And they both put their seatbelts on. Mm-hmm. And I said, hey, I appreciate that. Does that come from mom and dad or what? He goes, oh, no. If Coach Christian sees you in town and you don't have your seatbelt on, you have to run reminders. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so that that was just a, it was a cool thing, but I'll never forget that starting right there at Lebanon High School. But yeah, Jax, congratulations and uh, best of luck as you go forward here. We'll be watching the rest of the season and and in college as well. All righty, thank you. I appreciate it. You're watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol will remind us to take that three seconds and buckle up three seconds that could save your life. Be safe. Be smart and be here tomorrow.